Welcome for RTL Online Trainings and Placement. Please subscribe this channel to get latest updates about Oracle Cloud as well as the training and placements in Oracle Cloud Finance, HCM, Functional and Technical, as well as Supply Chain Management and also integrations. In this session, I'm going to explain you one of the important questions in the interviews they'll be asking us. What are the different types of key flux fields we have in human capital management? And what is the purpose of those key flux fields? Exactly where we will be using that. It means uh, where exactly it will be populated. Where exactly it will be populated. We know that key flux fields, like uh, we know already the flux fields. The flux field means uh, the additional fields, uh, which will be more flexible the compared with the normal fields in the page. When the organization wants to capture more information from the task, other than the fields which are provided by Oracle, then the clients can go for add their own fields according to our requirement. There are three different types of uh, flux fields. We'll find the uh, descriptive flux field, extensible flux field, and as well as the key flux field. If we would like to know the list of uh, key flux fields, generally we can get it from here also. Better go for implementation project and choose the implementation project. There might be some value set here. We can search for value set and uh, get this value set menu here. And we can find value set here, descriptive flux field, extensible flux field, and key flux field. Otherwise, we can add the menu called uh, task list and define flux fields. This entire task list, we can go for add to our implementation project and we can search it. Now the question is in the interviews, what is key flux field and what are the different types of key flux fields we have in the fission human capital management and where exactly it will be reflected and you know, where exactly we'll be using. When we say key flux field will be used to, to capture the key information. It means uh, the information is important for the organization. When we say the information is important, two things are mandatory for the client. One is that information must be secure. The second one is it must be in a position to generate the reporting or analytics so that the client can start using that information according to their business requirements and they can take the business plans to the next level. We can't create new key flux field. We can find the existing flux fields provided by Oracle. There are total 11 key flux fields in our fusion applications in finance, supply chain management, as well as in human capital management, revenue management in all the places. We'll find total 11 key flux fields. When it comes for human capital management, we have two. What are those two key flux fields? One is cost allocation key flux field that we'll find in payroll model. Another one is people group key flux field that we will find in GHR, in global HR. So there are two key flux fields in fusion human capital management. One is a people group key flux field. Another one is a cost allocation key flux field. This people group key flux field will be used to group the people. It means when we are hiring employees, the organization, the client wants to hire these employees for a particular group. Let's say when the organization is hiring an employee, they, let's say the organization, your client is having four groups finance, manufacturing, and IT, and admin. So generally, we would like to capture this employee comes for so-and-so group, so that, that information we can capture. What is the advantage of this? Why we require? Okay, we will keep this employee under finance group, or we'll keep this employee under manufacturing group. Then what is the use of that? When the organization would like to set some elements, processing only for that people group, then we can choose this. It means at the time of creating element eligibility in the payroll module, when we are working with payroll module, whenever we are creating element eligibility, where we can go for restrict these elements are eligible only for this group people, not for others. Like that, we can go for restrict. So while hiring an employee, this key flux field will be populated in the assignments page where we are going to fill the information. At the same time, when you are going to work in the payroll module while creating element eligibility, then we are going to mention the eligibility criteria. 
by specifying legal employer or business unit job or grade or department there we can find this field called people group key field expert that's the place okay the second one is payroll in payroll model we have cost allocation key flex this cost allocation key flex field uh, where exactly it will be populated is we know that we are configuring an enterprise structure in our fusion applications when we are configuring the enterprise structure we will be specifying first enterprise within that divisions then ldc legislative data group uh, ldc is mainly for maintaining all our payroll related information once we hire employee then obviously we are supposed to calculate the employee salaries and we have to pay the salaries to the employees right this all salaries information means payroll information will be stored at ldc level when the payroll information is there, the organization would like to go for calculate the cost for the for their expenditure, employee salaries, means payroll expenditure. Some organization wants to cap, calculate the uh, payroll cost at element level, department-wise, BU-wise. Depends on the requirement they can choose. This all information, whatever the payroll cost allocation information, if they want to capture, then this cost allocation key flux field will be used. It's almost like a replica of our accounting key flux field. We know that in financials, there is a key flux field called accounting key flux field, which will be used to maintain the accounting information. This is like a replica of that accounting key flux field, but we may not find all the segments, whatever we have in accounting key flux field, but whatever is required according to our requirement in payroll cost, those segments will be populated. Okay, let me show you exactly where this uh, key flux fields will be populated. One, while hiring an employee, as I said, when we go for hiring new employee, we have done multiple times employee hiring process, right? When I go for this employee process here, let me take hire an employee here. So here, when we are hiring an employee, we'll be specifying the employment information like business unit, job position, grade, location, department, manager information. There itself, we'll find this uh, people group key flex field. Whatever the segments are populated, we can find uh, those segments at the time of uh, filling the information here. Segment will have two fields, uh, two values, sorry. One is code, another one is meaning. Code will be displayed in the front end. Internally, every code will have specific meaning in the application. So that's the security will be maintained uh, in the application here. Here, let me go for... Yeah, people group key flex. If we would like to display the key flux field, whether this is a key flux field and this is a descriptive flux field, you'll find something here, uh, you know, uh, extensible flux fields. So there is an option here, go to user menu. There is an option here, uh, you know, highlight flux fields. If we click on this, the system will populate information of that particular uh, flux fields. Here it is. Okay. See, there is a descriptive flux field here. Earlier, these prompts were not there. Now we got, there is another descriptive flux field here. And we can find another DFF here. And this is another descriptive flux field. And I could see that here, this is our key flux field, people group key flux field. And we can find the segments which we have defined inside of this particular one. Okay. So this is people group key flux field which we will find in two places one at the time of hiring an employee 
Another one is when we try to create an element eligibility in the payroll module. So we can find over there it is. And now when we talk about the second one, another key flux field that is uh, payroll cost. We call it as a cost allocation key flux field. In case if your client is going to implement the payroll cost, and then whenever we are going to define that payroll costing, we'll be specifying the cost allocation segments that we will find here. When we are working with the legislative data groups, we will find here. Let's go to user menu. Let's go to setup and maintenance here. We go to the task here, legislative data group, and search for the LDZ over here. US legislative data group here. Now we can find the cost allocation structure here. This we will be using to maintain the payroll cost over here. Okay. So this is about the key flux field. Uh, whenever in the interviews they expect about uh, the key flux fields and the purpose and where exactly we will be using this key flux field, you can go for exploit this. Thank you.